This week, it's the 2007 shooting on a college campus known as Virginia Tech. The shooter killed two people in a dormitory on the college campus. And then two and a half hours later, he chained the doors shut in a classroom building and he began shooting students and faculty. In all, 32 people were killed and another 17 wounded. This case is the most important case for why not to name a shooter. It is the ultimate case where the public and the media let the shooter, even in his death, control the narrative. The man who did this, it's totally his fault. But all of the people along the way let the guardrails down a little bit on the road. And for whatever reason, at a given time, he drove the car off the road. 